Oggi la troupe di The Boat Show non navigherà. Today the boat show crew will not sail. Today we'll visit a factory to discover some hidden components of a boat, something we've never been able to show you, the propulsion mechanics. ZF è una società internazionale. ZF is a multinational company with its headquarters in Friedrichshafen, Germany. In Italy there are two production plants, one in Padova and the other in Arco in the province of Trento. This company has 138,300 employees located in 230 branches all over the world in 40 different countries. In short, it's massive. What do they build? If you drive a high-end car, most likely you are using a ZF product. On all vehicles, the engine isn't enough. You need the transmission systems to transfer the movement to the wheels. And ZF is the world leader in the production of transmission components and chassis for cars, buses, trucks, excavators, and much, much more. And what about the marine sector? Their Italian plants build the propulsion systems for boats and ships sailing all over the world. ZF designs and builds each kind of transmission and reduction gear for every use, from the propeller shaft lines for cargo ships to the azimuthal pod drives for tugs. Quanto è importante il sistema di trasmissione? È fondamentale. How important is the transmission system? It's paramount. The engine generates the power, but the effort to move tons, sometimes tens of hundreds of tons, is made by the propulsion components. And between the engine and the propeller, there's the reduction gear. In boats and ships, it's the equivalent of the gearbox in cars. One important function is to invert the direction of rotation, to move ahead or astern, and obviously to transfer the movement from the engine to the propeller. But in a boat, there's further use than in cars. The transmission, thanks to its ability to manage the movement, substitutes in some ways also the brakes. ZF builds reduction gears for every kind of application. This, for instance, is a wheel of the reduction gear of a small boat, and that one is for a ship. In this area, in particular, gearboxes for water sports boats are built. We know that these boats have to generate a perfect way for the skier. They have to move a lot of water and therefore they need a powerful engine and the reduction gear and transmission components have to withstand the entire effort. The client, usually the engine builder, can choose different reduction ratios, which is to say the gear he prefers and then to have the parallel shaft coupling, coaxial, at an angle or V-drive. The production line is able to build thousands of pieces every year. It looks like it's simple to build them. This is because the target is to facilitate every option, making it the safest possible. Each tool, each component has a designated spot, easy to reach for the operator. It looks like we're on a Japanese production line, but we're in Italy. We can say that here, German technology, Japanese precision and Italian skills merge. At the end of the production line, there's the test bench. No ZF product will be shipped if not previously tested. We are checking the construction of really special mechanical components because of their big size and their high precision, like they were some clock mechanisms. This machine can take measurements with a 2.5 micron tolerance. That means 2.5 thousand of a millimeter. And this can give you an idea of the quality of ZF products.
This instrument verifies the conformity of the gear teeth. The precision to thousandths of millimeters is paramount for the power transmission, for the duration in time, the mechanical noise reduction of the gears, and also the smooth shift into gear. They are built in such a way that the pre-contact between the gears happens in the central portion of each tooth, where it is more resistant, where it begins to transfer all of the power. The steel bars are transformed by a single machine in the shaft that connects the gearbox to the engine. It's all made possible by a single machine that costs a million euros, but it's well worth that cost because it produces perfect components. How can I say that? Because I took the measurement with a six cameras instrument. In auto e moto, si può gestire In cars or motorcycles, it's possible to manage the gear shift through the stroke of the clutch pedal or lever, but not on a boat. For this reason, ZF developed for their transmission an automated system able to modulate the shift to improve its smoothness and comfort. On this side, we have a main engine, that's the transmission shaft, and over there, there's a brake that simulates the force of the propeller in the water. Can you hear it? The engine speed is picking up. It's an electric motor, and it will reach 600 revolutions per minute, the same idling speed of a diesel engine. There we are, it's increasing the speed. Almost there. We are now at 600 RPM. Now let's insert the gear. Did you hear that? This is the characteristic noise of a traditional reduction gear. Now let's try the new version, Supershift 2. Much smoother. Let's listen to it once more. This clank will be definitely audible also when on board a leisure boat. Oh, this is smooth and silent. It's an evolution of the ZF reduction gear. There is a department whose control is in the micro world through the microscopic analysis of materials, using chemical reactions to verify the composition of their structure, deformations, resistance to breaking, surface hardening, but also the thickness of the chrome layer of the control levers. In the Padova and Arco plants, the production processes are closely defined with the aim of productivity, obviously, but also for quality. Each reduction gear is 100% tested before leaving the factory. All the data is registered and they compose a kind of birth certificate of the product, fully traceable, starting from the serial number. What do they do here? Yes, we better ask. This is a production cell of the reduction gear wheels, starting from the rough part to the finished product through different stages of machining. First teething, drilling, fine teething and finally fine machining. This is a very interesting area because, if you can see, the machines are located all around the operator, who is the core of this activity. He has to be put in the best condition to be more comfortable and to work better. And this is smart industrial thinking. In each workstation there is a panel just like this, in which we can find information about quality, safety on work sites, delivery schedule, productivity. It's filled on a daily basis from the area responsible person based on the information received from the operators and it clearly states how things are going. Green is good. There's also a red mark. There's something to be rechecked, but only a single one. On this panel, it's telling us things are going great. Here instead, we had a setback, but things are improving now. 
This was the Padova plant. Now let's go to Arco. Just like that? Are you sure? And here we are in Arco. On boats, either sails or engine-driven, the easiest propulsion system is the shaft line. But on the fastest boats, say over 40 knots, to have better performance we need to install surface propulsions. This, for instance, is the ZF Marine C-Rex. It's absolutely the most efficient propulsion system and it's ideal for fast boats. Also big, up to 32 meters in length and engines up to 2,700 horsepower. This is the assembly bench. They work with very heavy components with extreme care because also these big parts need to be put together and tuned with the utmost care and precision to work properly. The SSP, or Steering Pod Propulsion, is a transmission system dedicated to sailboats. It's an integrated system combining propulsion and transmission in a sole piece able to rotate around its vertical axis to direct the propeller thrust. Basically, the system is composed of two elements, one inside the hull and the other immersed in water. On this side, you have to think of the boat's main engine transmitting its power to the propulsion line. Here, instead, we have an electric motor, electronically controlled. That is used to rotate the immersed part. We also have an electronically controlled clutch. Really advanced stuff. The whole system is controlled by a microprocessor that links the command joystick and the bow thruster. We saw a component intended for sailboats. Now let's check something to sail at 100 knots. In this way, we'll have an idea of the variety of the ZF products. The biggest and most powerful outboard built in the world is built by Seven Marine a small, unique American company, and they asked ZF Marine to provide them their gearboxes. This case contains the gears that allow the head and the stern direction. All of this might seem trivial if for the fact that this system has to withstand 627 horsepower. The 7 Marine is not your usual outboard engine, and this reduction gear is very different from the others. The transmission is hydraulic, and that means that the gear shift is smooth and comfortable. It's electronically controlled and features the trolling valve, which allows to regulate the minimum speed of the boat. ZF produces the most complete range of electronic controls for the marine sector in the market. Just think that for this one command, there are 54 different versions. Their range covers all applications, from the professional ones that often require certification from class societies to the simpler ones for the small pleasure crafts, up to the most advanced, where electronics have played an important role in assisting the pilot. In the last 40 years, ZF Marine took a long path 
that led them to be a leader in precision mechanic and complex mechatronic supplier. But that's not all. The new motto, See, Think, Act, tells us that the company aims to reach even more advanced functions to satisfy the marine customers through a smart integration of mechanics and electronics to obtain high quality propulsion systems, as we have been able to see during this trip in the Italian plants. A clear example of the success of this kind of integration is the Joystick Maneuvering System, or JMS, the crown jewel in the ZF control systems, thanks to the eye anchor functionality to keep the boat steady in a specific position, and eye drift, a newborn in Arco dedicated to fishing that allows you to set direction and speed and to automatically follow a fish school at low speed. We visited Padova and Arco plants where the ZF Marine products are built and exported all over the world. Honolulu. 